Hi, this is Dr. Hui Xu from Inner Art of Music. In this video, let's talk about music clefs. If you're musicians, how can you not know the music clefs? A clef is a musical symbol used to indicate which notes are represented on a musical staff. See this picture? Wow, that's a lot of notes and clefs. Looks complicated. This is a conductor's score, which filled with every part, the woodwinds, brass, and the strings. See this picture? Oh, I see. The person standing is the conductor. He must see the same score setting like this one. Yes, you're right. The clefs we use most often are the treble clef and the bass clef. If you see this picture carefully, you may see another kind of clef, the alto clef for viola instrument. This instrument looks like violin, but the size a little bit bigger than violin. Obviously, the arrow point down to the viola instrument. The other side are two violins, and in the middle is the cello. Yes, you're right. The viola is slightly bigger than the violin. There's another music clef we may see in the music score, which is the tenor clef. It looks the same as alto clef, but it locates in different place on the musical staff. Oh, the tenor clef is a step up than the alto clef. I see. Do you know what instruments use tenor clef? That, I don't know. Cello, bassoon, and trombone. I thought those instruments use bass clef. Yes, the principal clef for these instruments is the bass clef. But when they read higher notes, the tenor clef will be easier for them to read because of less leisure lines. Sounds complicated again. See this picture? Let me see it. I think I understand it. The tenor clef C is on the top second line. The same note C for the bass clef is on leisure line above the music stuff. If you read the tenor clef, C, D, E, F, they are on music stuff. Same notes on bass clef, they are all on the ledger lines. If you read higher notes in bass clef, it will be more ledger lines. Definitely. The tenor clef is easier to read in this case, but I'm not good at reading tenor clef. It's okay, because you don't play cello, bassoon, or trombone. Otherwise, you have to learn it. I'm glad I'm a pianist. Oh wait, what's that? Are these music clef as well? Yes, these percussion clefs are for unpitched instruments, just the tap the rhythm. How interesting! Do you know those music clefs have second names? Oh yes, I saw the percussion clef is also called the neutral clef. How about other clefs? Do they have their nicknames? The treble clef is also called the G clef. The bass clef is also called the F clef. And the alto and tenor clef are called C clef. If you want to know why, you must know how to draw it. I like drawing. That's the fun part. Let's start. Prepare a stuff paper. Let's draw the treble clef first. If you know how to read music, you must know the second line from the bottom is the G note. So you start drawing the treble clef at the G line. That's why it is also called the G clef. Oh, I see. At the G line, you draw a circle clockwise to the middle line, then down to the bottom line, then loop up over the top line, also like drawing a number eight. Then draw a straight line down through all the lines. At the end, finish with a little tail on the left. I think you did a good job. Thank you. Is there another way to draw it? Yes, there's another way to draw a treble clef. It doesn't start on G, but it ends on the G line. Backwards? I like backwards. You start drawing above the top line. All the way down, draw a J shape. Then 
from the top, draw a backward C to the second line on the top. Then draw a normal C from the second line to the bottom line. Then draw a circle anti-clockwise until the third line and end on G line. I think you did a good job on both treble claps. Thank you. Now I would like to know how to draw the bass clef and why it's called F clef. Am I a good student? Keep asking questions. Yes, you're a very good student. I'm so glad to teach you. When we draw a bass clef, we start at the second line on the stuff. As we know, that is the F note line. Now you understand why bass clef is also called F clef. Oh, I see. You draw a dot on the second line, then draw a circular motion wrong to the right hand side all the way to the bottom line. Then we draw two dots, one in the top space and another one in the next space down. That's it. Oh, that's easy. How about the alto and tenor clef? Why are they call the C clef? How to draw them. This is the alto clef. Here is a little point. It points to the middle line. So the middle line note is the C for alto clef. So the alto clef is also called the C clef on the third line. Same thing for tenor clef. This points to the fourth line. So the fourth line note is the C note for the tenor clef. And the tenor clef is also called the C clef on the fourth line. Understand, so how to draw them? You draw a thick line and follow by a thin line. Then draw the small arrow points to the middle line. Then draw a backward C on the top and another one on the bottom. Same thing for tender clef. The only thing is different is you start drawing above the top line and stop on the second line on the bottom. Arrow points to the fourth line because that's the C note location for tenor clef. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like me.